Hello, Brian from Workspace Admins here. Uh, today, we will take a look at the uh, Google's new uh, policy API, which is currently in beta. So this is an API that Google's worked uh, closely with the uh, Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, uh, who developed the uh, Scuba uh, Goggles tool, uh, which analyzes the um, Google Workspace logs to see how um, Google Workspace environments might be configured. Uh, as uh, you should be familiar with, Google's admin console didn't have a uh, programmatic way of retrieving some of the settings uh, that's been configured. Obviously, directory, directory API uh, exists that gives you some information about users, uh, groups, domains, what have you. Uh, but policy API is something that's new to uh, Google Workspace. So the policy API is currently read only, uh, meaning that you can only list the settings as, it's relate, as it relates to uh, some of the settings that Google's currently uh, allowing uh, to be surfaced using the API. Uh, so first thing that we'll do here is making sure the GAM is up to date. So it is a best practice to, for you to be running the latest version of GAM uh, where possible, as long as you don't have any uh, critical automations or cron jobs that you may have set up. And the other thing to note is to make sure that your project is updated. So GAM update project will allow you to update the project, which I've done already. Uh, GAM OAuth update is the other thing for you to Make sure that you have authorized the additional APIs, which include the uh, cloud, ident cloud Identity Policy API. Um, so that's number 19 if you are using the latest version. So GAM Show Policies. So that's the first com command that I'll run here. And I'll get rid of the editor. So this will go through uh, 196 policies that's currently, or 194 policies that's currently available in the Google Admin Console. Uh, so the last setting that's listed here is a YouTube user takeout setting. Uh, and then you can just scroll through uh, some of the other policies that might be available. Uh, so one thing that the policy API does support is filtering. Uh, so you can either based on the um, type of uh, application you might be interested in, or you might be just uh, taking a look at the uh, some of the service statuses for uh, some of the applications within uh, Google Workspace, whether it, whether it is one of the core applications or additional Google services. So I did create a uh, spreadsheet that I'll be sharing um, with this video. So I've created a template where you can provide the uh, spreadsheet ID, and I have a few uh, different names of the sheets, description of what the GAM commands will do. So when you run it, it will create a new spreadsheet in the same file, um, and then it will list the policies that's available. So I'm going to go ahead and then run the first command that's listed here and demonstrate why you may want to do some filtering. So instead of uh, showing the policies in the console, uh, this will write this information to a CSV file and then upload it to um, Google Sheet that I specified. So if I go back to the sheet, as you can see, uh, there is a new sheet here and just adjust the column width, even though it might be hard to see on a small screen. So I'm just going to freeze one row and then freeze up to column E. So as you can see, the screen is too small. So the text might be a bit hard to see, uh, but essentially um, it has, it lists all the 194 settings that we saw earlier, and it captures the information in a CSV file. So it goes all the way up to column DW, which is quite large. So let's say I'm interested in the settings for Drive 4 desktop, and I just need to scroll, 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 scroll quite a bit until I find the relevant settings. So as you can see, uh, a lot of real-time presence for Drive for Desktop is true for my root organizational unit. And restrict to authorized devices is false, meaning that I'm allowing Drive for Desktop for any uh, devices, uh, which is a setting that you can configure, show download link, so on and so forth. So this spreadsheet is quite large, uh, so you this is this is why you may want to do it filtering 
do some filtering based on either the service or service status. So I'm going to grab the second command here, which will just list the Gmail settings, uh, which will make it a bit easier to read. So only 14 policies, so much smaller subset. And now Gmail sheet is created. And it lists things like uh, Gmail auto forwarding. Uh, so you can see it's allowed for uh, root organizational unit, uh, confidential mode, attachment safety settings, uh, SMIME, pop access. I'm not sure where the IMAP access setting might be. So that's something uh, we need to take a look at and spoofing and authentication settings. And you can see that some organizational units where it's not inherited, you can see that the settings, uh, uh, you can see the name of the organizational units and see what those settings might be. So let's again freeze one row and let's freeze up to column E. Just to take a look at what my uh, Brian's test org setting is. So let's go here. So it looks like it's set to true. So apply future settings automatically is set to true. Self-explanatory. Detect domain name spoofing is true. Spoofing from unauthenticated senders, employee name spoofing, group spoofing, unauthenticated emails, and then actions for uh, some of those safety settings which are uh, important to configure. So warning obviously only gets displayed in Gmail, which is why you may want to consider disabling POP or IMAP or any mail clients uh, that don't uh, that do not display this uh, warning uh, that's built into Gmail. So this is one way of one way for you to take a look at the relevant policies for a particular service. The other thing that I'll do here is just list all the service statuses for every service uh, that the policy API supports. So it looks like there's uh, 75 different applications. And let's do this here. So some of them are the additional Google uh, services such as Google marketing platform like Google Ads, Analytics, uh, and some of them are core services like Gmail, uh, Drop-in Docs should be there somewhere. Uh, yeah, so this is how you can quickly audit what service is turned on or off for some of the organizer units. It's relatively easy to do if you've done it many times, but uh, if you are working for a larger organization where you may have a lot of uh, Organizational, organizational units, uh, you may want to do some additional filtering uh, based on the uh, organizational unit path, either natively using the policy API filtering, or you can also do some filtering using GAM as well when uh, CSV files are generated. And moving on, uh, we'll just uh, end with these uh, DLP rule settings. So we do have a, quite a few rules that's been configured in our environment. So we have 55 different policies. And this is one way for you to take a look at your DLP settings. So as you can see, uh, we can take a look at the conditions of the DLP rule. So it's a little hard to read uh, this way, but uh, you can um, just go through what, what it looks like. You may want to do some um, uh, um, text to columns. So, so you may want to split this column into a different table as an example for you to get a better understanding of what these uh, rules are doing. And then you can then see the uh, display name of the rule and so on and so forth. So, so this is a way for you to think about how to set up a spreadsheet so it may be a good way for you to compare your settings against uh, CISA or CIS or any other uh, regulatory or com any of your compliance requirements really uh, so this is just um, hopefully enough to get you started and uh, the uh, Jay Lee, uh, who is the developer GAM uh, has started a thread in the GAM uh, group chat uh, so I'll also post a link to the uh, thread there uh, so you can uh, join the uh, group chat and provide some feedback so Jay can piece, pass that feedback along or you can leave a comment below and then I can uh, I'll provide a link to the uh, this YouTube video uh, so uh, the uh, the team for Policy API can uh, get some feedback that they're looking for from some of these uh, early adopters uh, or sysadmins that are using GAM to um, 
uh, use the policy API. So I'd like to see some uh, development in the future, uh, such as being able to manage the settings and especially as it relates to uh, Gmail spam settings or Gmail routing settings uh, because it leverages uh, additional lists or configurations that's not yet retrievable, retrievable by the API. So if you found uh, this video helpful, uh, leave us or uh, give us a thumbs up or uh, leave a comment below. Or if you have any questions uh, that you don't necessarily want to uh, post publicly, uh, feel free to reach out uh, at team at workspaceadmins.org. Um, haven't been um, too responsive by email, uh, but I do my best, but I usually hang out in Mac Admins uh, channel, uh, macadmins.org uh, Slack as well. So I'm usually hanging out in the Google Workspace channel or GAM group chat is also another great place to ask uh, GAM related questions. So. Thanks for watching.